everybody, I'm a 13th Wolfman. You know what? People over at MVD were nice enough to send over a copy of Francesca. Yes. Okay, now this, is, as a lot of you may or may not know, I'm a huge Italian horror fan. I also like the Giallo films. This movie was made in 2015 and released in 2016, I believe. Um, and it's a modern Giallo film. So it's got this, it's, they, they did a great job of making this movie because a lot of the Giallo films were made in the 1970s and this has that look. Everything is period correct. The, the clothes, the, the look, the way the, film, the way the film has a certain tinge to it. Everything is there. I really love the look of Francesca. Now, getting into the story, Francesca has to do with um, a girl that got the girl that went missing when she was like eight years old, and no one ever found her body, and no one ever found her her abductor, whether she was kidnapped or killed, you know. So, over the years, things things have settled down. They've never found, like I said, they never never found any clues leading up to where she could be, and then out of nowhere. I don't know where these kills that that remind everybody of of uh, the kills that were happening around the time Francesca went missing are happening. They got coins on the eyes. You got a you got a particular a particular way the the body is set, uh, the weapon used. You know, you got these cops that are just they're trying to figure it out. Moretti and Spooko, and they're doing a really. I mean, I love this movie. I, I the thing that I really loved about it is that it, had, it just sucked me right in from the beginning. It's Italian, okay, so the, it's not dubbed. You do have to read subtitles. For some people, that's a big turnoff. But the nice thing is, is that with the, with some Italian films, they leave the subtitles up there just long enough, long enough for you to to get the entire idea of what's going on. And with this film, they did that. I loved everything about this movie, and the thing that really blew me away in this movie was the ending. I'm not going to say what it is. I, 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 I remember just watching the movie going, okay, it's cool. Then the ending happened, and I go, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the, coolest ending in ever. And I, I just threw a giant charge to me, and I'm like, yes, that is the coolest ending ever. And, um... Yeah, so the Onetti's, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Onetti, and um, I would say Luciano Onetti. They did a, one was a director, one was one was a producer. They both wrote the script. Um, again, everything about this just looks so freaking cool. I really, really love the look of the movie. I love the story. There were things in this movie, though. I mean, there was like one one particular scene that it almost feels like it goes off into like this really weird, trippy scene, and it just feels like it lasts too long. If they would have cut that scene down to half the time, this movie would have been perfect. Um, other than that, I mean, that that was the one scene that just kind of, like, eh, you know, it's like I, I understand what they're going for, the visual aesthetic to it. You know, it's they're trying to give you that whole 1970s type thing. It just lasted longer than it should have. It, it's it's a fine movie. It looks good, and this is the this is the deluxe edition. Um, actually, this is the the coll limited collector's edition, and it comes with a Blu-ray, DVD, and soundtrack. How cool is that? You rarely get the, the soundtrack. So this is the soundtrack. Um, and then the Blu-ray and the DVD. And then... Here you have... Kind of a booklet about what the movie's all about. And just some really cool artwork that goes along with it. And... The extras that say on the back are behind the scenes. The behind the scenes... Feature read, deleted scenes, an interview with Luciano and Nicholas Anetti, and unearthed thriller reel. I mean, this movie has it all. I loved it. I love the ending. I I don't want to. I don't want to say anything else about this movie. I don't. 
I want you to go out and check out this movie for all you Italian horror fans or you Giallo fans. This is a definite must. I mean, it's a modern Giallo that is very well done and it looks like it was made in 1977 or 76, you know. I was impressed. So, I'm going to give this three and three quarter chainsaws out of four. Like I said, that one scene would just killed it from being a perfect movie. So, with that being said, like I said, three and three quarter chainsaws out of four. You know, check out MVD. I'll, ch I'll leave the link down below so you can go there, click on it, check it out. Of course, I'm the 13th Wolfman, and yep, I'm on the prowl.